Paul Appleby, Jim Cunningham. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Thank you. It's my honor to be here. A debut for you. It is. And how is it going so far? It's going wonderfully. I mean, the, the orchestra is fabulous. And every minute of rehearsal has been just as energized and vibrant as you expect on an opening night. So I think that's a real testament to this group of musicians who make music at such a high level every time they pick up their instruments. Manfred Honig does something special with the Mozart Requiem. What do you think of it? It's terrific. I mean, for me, it opens my eyes to this piece, which is very familiar, and it's a piece that I think many people in the audience, as well as a lot of performers, know very well. And you often take for granted pieces like that that you know so well. Um, and just, you know, it's the Requiem. That's how it goes. But this new uh, structure and this way of performing it sheds a lot of really interesting light that, it, you know, makes it such an interesting experience and helps you see the piece in a new way with a lot more insight into especially Mozart's point of view historically where he was personally and um, as well as it helps you reflect on the meaning of the piece which is another thing that you don't always pay as close attention to and that's something that that Maestro Honig is really attentive to is the text and every single word and why Mozart wrote it the way he did Maestro is very aware of and makes us all really work hard to communicate that. We hear you singing as part of the quartet of, of soloists. Big moment in the tuba mirum? Yes, in the tuba mirum, which is a very recognizable moment where the trombone, in our performance, the trombone uh, is set off on the side of the stage in a very dramatic way. Um, and you can hear this very famous um, intonation by the, the trombone. Um, and each soloist gets a good chunk of music. That's their solo moment to really drive home this idea of the individual's relationship with death and with God. So each one of us gets a big moment there and the tenor is no exception. So I get a very dramatic page of, of beautiful but, but passionate music. Uh, tell me about your uh, singing career. How did it get started? Where did it get started? Well, evidently I learned all the words to the song Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen before I could actually speak. <laughs> so from the, I never, there was never a, an aha moment for me singing and and music was always just something that I was just drawn to and, and did as naturally as anything else. You know, I sang in choirs as a kid. I did theater in high school and um, when, I, and when I went to college, I went to the University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana, which is my hometown. Um, I initially was just trying to find out a little bit more about the voice and the teacher I studied with introduced me to Schubert and to Italian songs and I really was drawn to that repertoire and I really liked languages and all these things you know sort of every little aspect of being an opera singer or a classical singer appealed to me and and to my my interests and my talents so I just kept following it and haven't been stopped yet. <laughs> 